Mia Barreras. So I got the cut bait on that one. I've got the live bait rod here as well, but I haven't gotten any live bait yet. So I'm looking to catch some live bait, but I put some cut bait on it. And I've got the little crab rod in, waiting for something to take on that. And I've got another crab little rod in. So I got four beautiful male crabs in this box. So what I'm going to show you is what they look like. Four massive crabs. Let's give you an idea. Wow, big this. You, you, my God, I've scratched for you. <laughs> Uh, well, that can you idea here from how good I crab is. <laughs> Just a quick demonstration on how to handle a crab. So, as you can see, when I catch them, I just tape up the pinches so they don't kill each other in the box. Also makes it a little bit easier to handle them once you've got them tied up. The only thing is you push your crab down, and grab the swimming fins at the back, like so. And then you can pick up your crab and you can hold it. Next, I'm going to show you how to clean your crab and prepare them for cooking. Just fill a basin with uh, hot water directly out of the geyser. Now we're just going to dump the crabs in there and give it about two to three minutes. And then uh, we'll be able to start cleaning the crabs. Eight kilograms of crab here. Yeah. And Billy, you're going to show us how to just clean it before we start cooking it, right? Right. Okay, this is Billy. He's going to show us how to clean it properly before we start using it to cook it. Right, but it's all prepared and it's a huge amount of crabs. Ten, uh, well, ten, well, five big crabs in total. So all the legs comes off. I'm going to give it a good rinse. Yeah. We're cleaning them up, all the mud and... That the crabs. Okay. Oh, that's what I call butt crabs, obviously. Yeah. So it all gets makes certain there's no mud or anything mud left. Clean. Clean, 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 clean. You have to just crack each one. Give it a crack. Okay. Hi. Kay is going to show us how to prepare our tomatoes for our crab curry dish that we're going to be making for everyone. So okay, can you guide us through the process of what you're doing? First, you've got to split the tomatoes like this here and you've got to add boiling water to it so that we peel off the skin. We're not using the skin. You've got about 10 kilos of crab so we want a lot of gravy in it. Mm -hmm. So we're adding a lot of tomatoes. Then you take the water and you pour it over and you leave it to stand for about half an hour so that the skin gets softer and then it it'll just come off when it's time to put it into the pot. And this is coriander. So fresh coriander. Yes, fresh coriander. Put it in water, you wash it out because there'll be sand on it. Okay, so yeah, yeah. You need to wash it off like that. I put it in gently when I'm cooking the onion, the tomato, and then I put it in and then the flavor goes into it. I, I don't use a cutting board. I mm -hmm. hold it in my hand mm -hmm. and then I just cut it up fine like okay, this. Is ready for the pot. So when you're chopping it, some people can't do this. Mm -hmm. They just use a chopping board, they put it on and they chop it up. Okay. I've got my pot, yeah. which is a very big pot. How much oil it goes in? Uh, I'm going to use, and I'm not going to be two or three tablespoons, wait, it's, I generally... Just mix by the eye, basically. Oh, okay, so just, just to cover the bottom. You see? Okay, yeah, so because you... Because that's a lot of crab there, you know, we yeah. don't want it, where we put everything in and everything gets dry and then it's catching and it's getting burnt. Yeah. This is called mustard seeds. Okay, so mustard seeds. I took one little handful like that and another. I took another. Okay, what is this uh, This is ginger and garlic. It's uh, liquidized. Okay. It's uh, in a paste form. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to use each one. Two. Two, two teaspoons. Three. I put three. Because three teaspoons. The, yeah. The onion must be chopped in, put in, and it must you must leave it to cook out where it cooks and it, it, it and it becomes like smaller. It, it must be like slightly browned. Okay. 
Oh, it looks so good. And now I'm going to add some curry leaves. Put some curry leaves, rinse it out mm -hmm. before you use it. Okay, we just, just break it in mm -hmm. half. Break it in half. Yeah. Okay. Because the flavor comes out of it when it's just broken in half. Mm -hmm. So it's just one stem of the... Just one stem. Yeah. So in the meantime, while that is cooking, okay. I am going to prepare that. this done. Yeah. Tomato. You see? And you see what I do. You okay. Know? Uh, easily it comes off. Yes, because of the slits on it. Yeah. So wherever it slits like that, if you just do that, it will come off like that. Then I just scoop up the middle of this little section like this here. Okay. Slit it up like this. You can use a board to cut them up, or you can just put it over the board and chop it up fine. Okay. But I work like this. This is called seedless tamarind, which you got to put some of this into that curry, and it, it gives it a little bit of a sour taste. See? About that size. Well, but like also, a small egg. Yeah, yeah. If you're working with less uh, crabs, yeah. then maybe you take a smaller, smaller amount. Yeah. And we leave it to melt down to get soft in it. It must get dissolved in it. Okay. And you can smash the tomato down like that. Okay, start smashing it down. That's what we started mixing. Only gets added when it's fully cooked. Oh. Yes, you can't add that in when you put the tomatoes in because what will happen is that tomatoes won't cook. We added a small amount of water. Just so it doesn't get burned to the bottom. Getting stuck. Yeah, I just uh, dissolved the tamarind that, that we dissolved, yes. Yes, now I took it and I dropped it in. We wait to let it cook out, and then when it dries up a bit, then we put the crabs in. How much salt are we putting in? One, two, two. two. And here it comes. The crab is going in. Bodies goes meat side in first. So now you just lift with the legs. How long, how long do we leave it now? Half an hour maximum. Okay. Alright, then we'll have to dish up afterwards and I'll make another video. We have now just served up. Here's my plate. Nice crab. Curry. And we're having it with brown bread. There ain't better way to have it. Now, grab that gravy. On the bread. Put that on your bread. I always put it one half. Let me take my meat. Roll it. And then you can bite into it. And you can dunk it into the sauces that sit on the side. It is truly awesome. Enjoy.